we immediately withdraw our hand when we touch a hot vessel. Our nervous system instructs us to do that. All our actions and body functions are controlled by the nervous system. It is made up of brain, spinal cord and nerves. Our sense organs receive information from our surroundings and pass it to the spinal cord and brain. Then the spinal cord or brain responds to the information received from the sense organs. Nerves, which are the conductor of information, are made up of an enclosed cable-like bundle of exons called neurons, nerve cells. There are two types of neurons. They are sensory neurons pass the message from outside to brain and motor neurons pass the messages from brain to muscles or glands. The messages are passed in or out in the form of electrical signals. The nerve that carries only sensory neurons is known as sensory nerve and the nerve that carries only motor neurons is known as motor nerve. Also, the nerve that carries both sensory as well as motor neurons is known as mixed nerve. Let us know the path of conduction of signals to brain, stimulus, then sense organ, through sensory neurons to spinal cord, to brain, from brain, brain, to spinal cord, through sensory neurons to effector organ, muscle, to Response Let us now study about the structure of the brain. The brain is the most delicate organ of our body, protected by the skull. The liquid within and around the brain and spinal cord acts like a cushion, shock absorbers. It is called cerebrospinal fluid. A normal human brain weighs about 1.5 kilogram. Brain is divided into three important parts, cerebrum, big brain, cerebellum, Small brain medulla. Cerebrum is the largest part of the brain and is also called big brain. It is made up of ridges and furrows. It is dome shaped and has two hemispheres, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. It controls the functions of sense organs. It is also responsible for intelligence, thinking, storage and memory of information. The cerebellum is a small part of brain situated at the bottom of the brain below cerebrum. It controls the actions of the muscles and makes them work together in coordination. It is also responsible for maintaining the body balance while running or walking. Below the cerebellum, a bulb-like structure lies known as medulla. It connects brain to the spinal cord. It controls the heartbeat, breathing and involuntary muscular activities. This part of the brain always functions even when we are sleeping. Amazing fact! Each half of your brain controls the opposite side. That is, right side of brain controls the left side of your body and left side of brain controls the right side of your body. This is a long cord-like structure which is a continuation of medulla. It continues downwards, giving away nerves. As this is also a very delicate structure, it is present within a bony structure, the vertebral column formed by vertebral bones. It helps in emergency actions or automatic actions or reflex actions. For example, if we touch a hot iron, we remove our hand immediately. Here we see that the brain is not involved in such emergency actions which are called reflex actions. They are controlled by the spinal cord. Sense organs help in obtaining information from our surroundings through sensations like sight, sound, smell, taste and touch. These sensations are also known as special senses. There are five sense organs, the eye, the ear, the nose, the tongue and the skin. Eyes call the organs of vision or organs of sight since it helps us to see things around. Eyes are very sensitive and delicate organs. Each eyeball is safety set in a deep bony socket or orbit and they are further protected by eyelids and eyelashes which protect the eye from dust and dirt. Let us see the internal structure of an eye. The outermost layer of an eye is cornea which is transparent. In the center of the black part of an eye 
a small black spot pupil helps the light to pass through images which fall on the retina from there it is sent to the brain for processing through optic nerve we should take proper care of our eyes let us see how wash the eyes regularly with clean and cold water read the books in normal light which is neither dim nor too bright also ensure that the book should be at least 12 inches away from your eyes we should not watch tv from a short distance there should be a distance at least 10 feet between you and tv while watching don't read while traveling in a moving vehicle if you find any problem in your sight cannot see things clearly inform your parents you may have to use spectacles amazing fact the only part of the body that has no blood supply is cornea in the eye it takes oxygen directly from air apart from hearing ear also functions as a balancing organ the nerve that connects ear to brain is auditory nerve it receives the signals and sends them to the brain the ear consists of three main parts the external ear the middle ear the internal ear do not let water enter the ears clean the ears with cotton buds do not use any sharp object like hairpin or matchstick to clean the ears you must visit the doctor if you have ear ache nose is a sense organ of smell it also helps us to breathe the hair inside the nose helps us in trapping and filtering the unwanted particles or dust from the air we breathe in the nerve that connects nose to brain is called olfactory nerve when we smell something we are able to guess how it tastes because the sense of smell and the sense of taste are linked clean your nose with a soft and wet cloth use pressure packs in case of nose bleeding use nasal drops to clear a blocked nose blow your nose gently whenever you wash your face or take a bath we taste different types of food with the help of tongue there are different taste buds on the tongue for tasting different foods the food and saliva enter into these buds which in turn pass the information about the taste to the brain through a sensory nerve brain helps us to feel the taste amazing fact on an average a person has about 10000 taste buds in a single taste bud which contains 50 to 100 taste cells do not eat anything too hot or too cold you can use plastic tongue cleaner but avoid metal ones gargle your mouth with clean water after every meal chew your food carefully and slowly otherwise you may cut your tongue and injure it the organ of touch the skin is the largest sense organ as it covers the whole body it helps us to feel the sensations of touch cold heat pain pressure etc the nerve endings send the message to the brain the skin has very tiny pores called sweat pores which give out sweat one should take care of skin by adopting the following habits take a bath daily and wash the skin with soap and water always use clean towel to wipe the body apply cream to keep the skin smooth change the clothes daily and wear clean clothes avoid wearing tight clothes which may cause rashes on the skin do not share clothes apply an antiseptic lotion or cream on minor cuts and bruises let us summarize the nervous system is made up of the brain spinal cord and nerves the main parts of the brain are cerebrum cerebellum and medulla nerves are an enclosed cable like structure of axons the messages are passed from outside through sense organs to spinal cord and then to brain spinal cord helps in emergency or automatic actions sense organs help to get information from our surroundings the sense organs are eyes ears nose tongue and the skin we should take care of all our sense organs